Hello, my African brothers and sisters. My name is the Master Articulator, and I'm coming from you live from Los Angeles, California. I'm here to discuss the most powerful medium ever invented in the history of mankind, and that's television. They invented television for one purpose, to control the mind of the masses. And where black folks are concerned, they invented television in order to degrade and dehumanize us as a people. Uh, yeah, it's all started with the birth of a nation in 1914, over 100 years ago. Birth of a Nation was a movie that characterized this black man as a rapist, a thief, and whatever else you can characterize him as. The Ku Klux Klan came and got him, his big lips was, was, was prominently displayed on the screen and everything. You know how they do it. Uh, yeah, this movie, it was, it was a big hit in America. It was a major, it might, matter of fact, it was the first major box office hit in America. W.D. Griffith, he the one made it. And so, you can see from the beginning, television was, 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 was utilized in order to dehumanize us as a people and it hasn't changed not one bit the script is still the same with these white folks they'll never change uh, you had movies before te before television there was movies and most of the movies that came out uh, black people were showed as mammies and sambos and whatnot every every position we had Every 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 script we had was based on some type of degrading image of us, you know, and that that hasn't changed. That hasn't changed, you know. For years and years, the only the only the only way they got us on television was to degrade us. They didn't even want us on television. And when we did get on television, it was those images which I discussed, which I just uh, uh, displayed to y'all, of the mammy and the sambo. You know, images that made white folks look like they were God or somebody. You know, uh, But during the 60s and the 70s, you had Bill Cosby and Fred Sampson. You had Bill Cosby playing a a lackey to a white boy. Those are the images that they that they really like for us to play lackeys to white people. You know, we the we the we the kind of like the peon that followed that followed the white man, make him look smart while we make all the mistakes. Just look at the movies real careful, and you'll see that we always they got us always loud and obnoxious and. And, and, and playing second fiddle to a white man that's strong and whatnot, and we while we make the mistakes and he correct them, he had to correct them just like in a uh, predator, you know. In predator, we seen that they started off with a black man, and he was uh, the leader of the squad, but he was so incompetent that Arnold Schwarzenegger had to take over and and and, and kill the monster and everything and lead. It was Arnold Schwarzenegger that, that basically saved the day because the Negro couldn't do it. And these are the type of movies, the type of uh, scripts that they give us. Um, you would see like uh, now, today, you see black po black people all over the screen. We everywhere, you, when, it, when you turn on the television, they didn't even want us on television. And now, when you turn on television, you see us everywhere. Everywhere on, t everywhere on television, you see black people. Why? Because at first, they didn't want us on television. And I'm sitting here telling you that the script hasn't changed. Just because there's a lot of blacks on television, they're still... Basic theme is to undermine our character and dehumanize us as a race. Uh, Jerry Springer. 
when you turn on Jerry Springer, you see black folks always coming out there fighting and acting a damn fool. And every time they fight, they wig get through in the audience. And the white folks be playing with it, you know, like it's fake hair. No, oh, man, that's, that's humiliating. That is humiliating to the first degree. And every time the black man come out, check it out now. Every time the black man come out, they booing. They booing. Every time. On, on, on uh, Mari Povich. Check out Mari Povich. They sit here and discuss paternity tests and all loud and obnoxious and the man talking about the baby ain't his. And whatnot, and the girl done had sex with ten people. They 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 put these scripts on to undermine us as a race. They know exactly what they do. And when the man find out that the baby ain't his on Mari Povich, he jumps all around and act crazy, like he ain't got no damn sense. While the woman is sitting there, totally emotionally distraught, tore up, while he jumping all down over the damn stage, rolling all on the floor like a monkey or something, you know, this is totally humiliating to our race because he's not only representing himself when he do this, he's representing the entire African race in America. She is too. And they always get these people on here with the worst case scenario. And while he's jumping all over the damn stage, you got a white man that's comforting the black woman because she's totally tore up. And so he he's taking her in his arms and and and, and comforting her and, and taking care of her, so to say. Man, that's humiliating, man. That's showing us as as a race with no morals with no ethics, with no mores, with no nothing. And they and the world see us. And they do this on purpose. Maury and Jerry Povich, they do this on purpose. They got thousands of people. They're producers and script writers. They got thousands of people to pick from. And they always pick the worst case scenario, black people, ignorant black people that they bring on their show. And, of course, the black people are going to come because they out the ghetto. And they're talking about a first-class a first class plane ride across the country, staying in a five-star hotel, getting on TV for the first time. So, yeah, they're going to, they're going to come. They're going to come. Even if they, 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 they're ignorant as hell, but they are going to show up. Because out of ignorance, they go there and degradate and dehumanize our race. Because they, they know no better. But see, Maury Povich and Jerry Springer and his producers and directors, they know better. They know exactly what they're doing. they first-class racists. That's what they are. And then you go on to the court shows. You see court shows on every channel now. It's the big thing. And you always see blacks on there displaying their dirty laundry while these judges sit up here and pull all the dirt out from them. We're being judged. As a collective whole, the African race is being judged. This is why they do this. At first, they didn't want us on TV. Now they got us on every channel acting a damn fool. You got these black judges up here, so they make it not seem like it's racist with the black judges. So the black judges sit up here and just pull out all the dirt, you know. And then these people that's watching TV, what they do is white folks are entertained by our humiliation. You got to understand this. This has been a theme throughout America 
for hundreds of years since America was America, they are entertained by our humiliation and dehumanization. So when you see white folks, when you see black folks on t black folks on television acting a damn fool on these court shows on every channel, you got to understand that our whole race is being judged. People all around the world be watching these movies and and court shows and Jerry Springer and Maury Povich and every other movie you see. And they say, look at them niggers. They just ain't got no damn sense. They just as stupid as can be. And white America, they do this on purpose. They display us like this on purpose. You know? And we gotta stop it. We got to have more sense as a race. We got to stop it. And that's what I want to say today to my black brothers and sisters out there. That's it.